three weeks, we're not gonna finish. Welcome back everybody. It's that time of the week again. Every two weeks on a Friday, uh, I head up to Coventry from the south coast so that we can check on this project, monitor the, the progress, make sure that we are on time and on budget. There's a few videos that we've done. The last time that I went up myself, I found that we were a little bit behind on the schedule. Working with these guys, which I've done a number of times, generally everything's gone smoothly on time, on budget. On this one, we are a little bit behind, a smidgen behind. It's mainly down to the rear extension. When we dug out the foundations, there was just loads and loads of sand, so not very uh, stable foundations. So we had to dig, 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 dig to get to two meters down where there was something that we can start to pour concrete and, and build the foundations back. This delay, it's only a week or so. I've spoken with the builder and they're aware of it. They said, look, we're gonna have more people on site to do the next part. That rear extension is really where the focus has got to be. How quickly can they whip that up? Uh, that's the question. So let's find out. Hello everybody and welcome again to our project in Coventry. We are having a beautiful 2023 summer's day, fully overcast, no sunshine. And hopefully we'll have a positive update. I haven't been inside yet, but from the outside you can already see that the extension has taken some good shape and form. So let's go inside, have a look and see where we're at. Very nice. Look at this. Look at, is it bad luck to go on the ladders? Todd's nodding his head. Oh, absolutely love it. Oh, there's quite a lot of space at the back. Wow. We need to get a uh, skylight in here, I think. It's a little bit dark and gloomy in here. There's going to be, and also this door is going to be blocked off as well because there's going to be a wall here with the kitchen. So that one window is just going to make the place pretty dark inside. Boards in, tiling's happening. <coughs> so, bon appetit, bon appetit. Shower trays are going in. <laughs> Very good, all the tiling's been done, which is great. Makes such a big difference when you can see the architraves going, actually feels like somebody could live here. So this used to be the kitchen. It's got a nice vaulted ceiling, which gives it a nice perception of space. I do love how we create that little bit of storage as well. It's so important. My earlier HMOs, my first one has had no storage whatsoever and it was causing problems constantly. So it was a small one, it was a four bed. Some people call them minimos. Java tray going in. Gonna house a washing machine, I think, so they put some plumbing in there. They were gonna board this up at one point. I was like, no, that's loads of light. Don't do that. If we have to have something that comes in front of it, fair enough, but don't board it up. We've got a little bit of time. We've got a little bit of time. Love the new built-in wardrobe. Pretty much done. Love these rooms. Very nice rooms. And now we have the difficult conversation with George the Builder to find out if we're behind schedule or not. It is crucial that we know this, especially with the Article 4 deadline imminent, which will prevent us turning this successfully into an eight-bed HMO. Extension is that, which is good. Is this yeah, all coming out? Go. That's got to go. We're going to have that level, the same level from there up to here. That's a lot of work. It was even here just to cut for uh, extension, but uh, 
We have to do it. I think it might get dark in here with only one window. And also that door is not going to be open. There's going to be a wall there. Can okay. we cut a skylight in here? Yeah, we can, we can cut yeah? it. You want to on this side. Then we just have some with a meter by two meters. Yeah, a meter by yeah. two meters. We've only got until the end another one, two, three weeks. We're not going to finish. Three weeks. <laughs> Yeah. Impossible. Maybe four. Maybe four. Yeah. This week, I do the I do the the evaluation again, and actually I can put a little bit in for plumbing because we've got some radiators in now. I think I was at sixty five, so I'll put another five percent in for radiators. Does that work? Yeah, five percent for radiators. So we're at about twelve thousand seven hundred. So every two every week we should be doing ten thousand. Yeah. But again, we've done about 6,000 a week in the last two weeks. So again, I think we're one week behind. So I think we're one or two weeks away from completion. One, one, I think we're two weeks extra we need. We have to now make some significant progress. Yeah. yeah? Thank you. No Thank problem, you. George. Yeah, I'll put this in the group. I'm going to yeah, consider yeah, yeah. How, how... How we have to finish. Yeah. yeah. We have to start thinking about De finishing. Depends very much. If I uh, finish these four jobs, it's going to be much easier. I have another maybe two days each. Yeah. One. After that, I'm going to have some spare guys. Yeah. Which yeah, 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 is yeah, going to yeah. be 100% more important. I think what's happened is this has taken longer than expected. And because they've had more people trying to help out here, they've fallen behind elsewhere, and then they've got people off sick at uh, that time of year. And um, yeah, we have to firefight it together. It's all part of the part of the deal. It's all part of the game. There's nothing you can do apart from stay positive, put a plan of action together. There's no, I've no doubt that this will finish in the next few weeks, but we are behind schedule. The highs and lows, no hiding. <laughs>